Please remain standing as our national anthem is played by Graham Middle School Band. <coughs> Again, thank you to the Graham Middle School, and also thank you to the American Legion Post 881, led by Commander Juan Salcido. Okay, now you can be seated, and let me introduce and get this ceremony started with the Mayor of Mountain View, Mayor John McAllister. If you know if you've been to a couple of my events where I've started them, I always like to start off with a good morning, Mountain View. Let's kick off this celebration. We've got to get some life because today is a great day. We've been in, this field has been in the works for over 10 years through many different councils, different park and recs that we always, you have to thank them for their vision and leadership to get this done. So I'm going to first start off and uh, recognize some of my fellow council members. I have uh, Vice Mayor Pat Shaw Walter behind me, jo John Inks, Mike Kaz Kasperzak, <laughs> Ken Rosenberg, and Lenny Siegel. You know, without the priors, we also have Tom Means, who he's around here, someone who was very instrumental in getting this started. He was very proud that we're here today. Yes. The, oh, Tom's over there. Tom, stand up. Come on, you wanted to, there you go. Tom and I had a, we have boys that played the sports, baseball, and we know how important it is to have these fields out here. Uh, I coached over at McKelvey. Tom had a similar experience, and we both realized as the city grows and uh, the population increases, we need to increase our athletic fields out here to take care of all the youth groups that are going to be participating in it. And that's one of the great things about Mountain View is that we recognize that if we take care of our youth, they're going to take care of us. And we need to provide them the facilities to get and get the exercise and to build a community relationship with other people. I mean, just look at how many different groups are going to be using this field. We got the Mountain View Little League, the Mountain View Li LA Pony League, the AYSO, the Red Star Soccer, the Mountain View Los Altos Soccer Team, the MVLA Girls Softball, MVLA Pop Warner, Babe Ruth, AYRU, just a tremendous amount of groups that are going to be taking advantage of what the vision of the prior councils and what everybody else is going to be taking care of. Just also look at today the different community, the different parts of the community that we brought together today. We have the veterans group, and if you missed a Wednesday, get a chance to go over to Eagle Park and take a look at the fantastic uh, veterans memorial that we uh, dedicated on Wednesday. Fantastic. We have the high school, the, I mean the local, local middle school, coming out and celebrating with us. We have the fire department. Make sure you get stay around because we're going to have a group photo, so everybody's going to make history today if you're in the photo. 
And well, everybody gets to sign the photo. No, just kidding. That won't work out. Um, but this is a really a great celebration. We thank you for coming. We hope you appreciate. This is going to be the start of many memories for a lot of kids in soccer, in baseball, lacrosse, football, and also the adults that get to come down here and enjoy this park. And I think this park, along with what we have in McKelvey and other great parks, is going to make Mount View that much more of a place that people envy to be living with and come visit. So thank you for coming today, and let's enjoy it. Play ball! Thank you, Mayor. Great job. Now, there's a few other people we'd like to uh, introduce and thank, and to do that, I'll have our city manager, Mr. Dan Rich, do that. Thanks, JP. So, this is an exciting day for the city organization. Just like all the teams and youth sports organizations that are here today and they'll be using this field, it took a team of staff and consultants and, and specialists to make this day possible. We are, uh, this is a, a really challenging project. We are literally standing on garbage today. This was the old landfill. Those of you who've been around a while know that. Um, so I want to thank some of the folks that have been involved in this. And, and it goes back, as the mayor says, 10 years. It was actually November 15th, 2005. So 10 years and one day, less one day, that the city council selected this site as, uh, as the primary one to study for new athletic fields. Obviously, it's been a huge need for additional athletic fields in our community for a long time. So uh, back then, 2009, feasibility study was concluded and figured out a plan to how to settle all the landfill that we're standing on today. 2011, we started filling the golf course ponds. We took out the water and filled them in to make them burrowing howl habitats. In addition to the garbage we're standing on, this was actually a habitat for burrowing owls, which is a protected species, so we had to find another place um, for them. So we filled in some of the ponds to make, uh, make a habitat for them. We also brought in 120,000 cubic yards of soil to, to put over the landfill here to let it settle so that when we're playing soccer and baseball, we're not on a roller coaster, we're actually on a flat surface. So all that took a while to get done and it was in June of 2014 that we actually started the construction for the project uh, that we see here today. So today, 10 years minus one day, we're here to dedicate this wonderful facility, not to mention the $15 million it took to, to get here as well, but we won't talk about that part of it. It's a, it's a beautiful facility. So I do want to just take a minute to thank some of the people involved. If you look on the back of your program, there's a, a long, long list of, of everyone who's been involved in this project, and we'll never get to the first pitch if I name them all by name. Um, but I do want you to take a moment to look at the program, and I want to just do a shout out to a few of them, starting with our public works director, Mike Fuller, hanging out back there. Also, um, special shout out to Ray Rodriguez, hiding in the back there. He's been the project manager of this thing for the entire 10 years, and so it's a, it's a long birthing process for Ray to, to see this come to fruition today. Uh, our community services department under the leadership of JP that you just met, uh, and his key managers, Bruce and John, uh, many other folks involved, they're the ones that are gonna sort of take it over from Public Works got us to here today to get it built and now community services will take it over and, and make it um, a, a great field for everyone for years to come. Obviously we couldn't do it alone. We had a lot of specialists and consultants and contractors. Again, I'm not going to mention them all, but our lead consultant on the project was Tektra Tech and the general contractor was Goodland Landscape Construction. So thank you to them for helping us make this happen. So now, um, without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker today, a local sports hero. We're really proud of him as one of our own. We'll, even though he was born in Idaho, we'll, we'll, he's been here most of his life, and so we claim him as ours. And that's Joe Cannon, who many of you know played for the San Jose Earthquakes for a number of years. Joe was actually born in Sun Valley, Idaho, but grew up and played his early years here in Mountain View. He attended St. Francis High School and uh, went to college at Santa Clara just down the road. 
He went on to play for 15 years in Major League Soccer, four-time All-Star, and took the Goalkeeper of the Year honors twice. Joe was the Earthquakes Humanitarian of the Year in 2000 and 2008, and is currently the Executive Director of a local nonprofit soccer club. And when at St. Francis, uh, Joe's senior year, they were the CCS champions. And in 1993, he was the Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, to be followed after Joe left, our own John Marchant followed him the next year as Defensive Player of the Year. So we've got an all-star cast of defensive soccer players here. So all you little guys out there, little guys and gals, um, Great things can happen on this field, and we expect to see your names, and we expect to see you coming back as, as our alumni guests in, in the years ahead. So without further ado, please help me welcome Joe Cannon. Wow, I didn't think I lived long enough for an intro like that, but uh, here I am. What, yeah, da, da, what an incredible day. It really is. I'd like to thank John Marchant, aforementioned, Parks Manager, Lauren Merriman, Colin James, and Sean Chilotowski. I hope I got that right, uh, from the Recreation Division for the City of Mountain View for allowing me to come here and speak to this incredible audience. I would also like to thank Mayor McAllister, the City Council members, representatives, as well as the entire city of Mountain View for making this day possible. This ceremony and these fields exist because of the collaboration between so many different city departments, organizations, and individuals. Today is about the celebration and these fields are the reward for a true team effort. With the pressures of commercial development, it is truly a remarkable achievement to place such an incredible facility here, nestled among some of the world's greatest companies. The consideration for the general public and the youth is selfless stewardship, foresight, and exemplary leadership from our city officials and the residents of Mountain View, my neighbors. My name is Joe Cannon, as you know. I grew up in the Bay Area, attending St. Francis in Santa Clara, and my life was greatly enhanced by having somewhere to play. It's so just great to see some of the organizations today that have had such an incredible impact on, on my own life. Little League Baseball is here, American Youth Soccer Organization where I started my soccer career, the San Jose Earthquakes where I spent the majority of my professional career in Major League Soccer are here today. I want to thank their mascot Q and Jordan Stewart, a current player, will be here later today for coming out to our community. I also want to thank Mountain View Los Altos Soccer Club, a place where I spent almost a decade of my life wearing those same uniforms that bears the city's initials, a club that gave me a second father and taught me so many valuable life lessons through the beautiful game of soccer, a club I've returned to after playing a 16-year pro career and as executive director to help give back to try to recreate these same life lessons which helped an insecure young boy become a confident in parentheses, I have old, man. <laughs> As the director of MBLA, I know the impact a facility like this will have on our children. This facility is not just the future home to Mountain View, baseball, softball, and soccer organizations. It is the future home to hard work, commitment, collective efforts, sometimes even tough lessons learned. It is also the home to laughter smiles, pats on the back, sportsmanship, camaraderie, teamwork, and championships. But most importantly, it is home to so many future memories. Memories I hope to share with my two-year-old son and my wife, who are here today. Memories to share with family, friends, and neighbors such as yourselves. There are so many dedicated individuals here today that make up the incredible youth sports organizations here in Mountain View. Numerous people who take time out of their lives to show up at field meetings and represent the scores of children who just want to play. On behalf of these YSOs, I want to express, express our gratitude to the city of Mountain View 
because now our kids have just that, a place to play, a place to cast aside worries and to just be a kid, or for ex-pros like me, a kid at heart. These are truly not just fields of dreams. They are examples of when great leaderships reflect a great community. Thank you to the audience for your time and presence, to all the other organizations and YSOs that are here today. Thanks again to the city of Mountain View, its great representatives, and thank you to everyone who made this day possible. Now that you've built it, we will come. I love that line, if you build it, they will come, right? All right, now if I can have a few pictures to be taken. Uh, Mayor and Council, if you could come over to the plaque unveiling. We'll do the plaque unveiling and then we'll do the official ribbon cutting. <laughs> Hang on, photographers in place. There they come. Okay, Mayor, go ahead. And now if we can move to home plate and we'll officially cut the ribbon. Hang on. All right, you ready to count them down? Join me. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, if the council can step to the left and the mayor, oh, bring back the scissors. And if I could bring up our Mountain View Little League catcher, Brendan Van Zant, <laughs> And the mayor will stand uh, close to the mound and see if he can reach Brandon. Oh, <laughs> All right, mayor. <laughs> Good stop, Brandon. <laughs> Now for the soccer portion, we have Q as our goalie. We're going to have the mayor and council kick a ball into the net. But first, we're going to have Joe Cannon show you how to really do it. Look at that, all right? See how easy it is? All right, Q, you try to stop him. All right, Vice Mayor. Nice, all right. Mike, Ken, who? Mike, go ahead. John? There he is. <laughs> Mike. Nice. There we go. Oh, look at Ken, huh? And Lenny. Yay, there we go. All right, good job, Q. Way to go. 
Now, we have a number of activities going on today. There's t-ball hitting in the batting cages. There'll actually be a baseball game going on with Mountain View Little League and Pony, Little, Pony League. The playground's open. There'll be a number of soccer games going on. There's inflatables, uh, bounce houses for the kids out there. There's a number of vendors, concession stands. Everybody have their ticket? On the ticket, there should be free peanuts, Cracker Jacks, or popcorn. Do you have your rally towel? So I want you all to come out on the field, and we're going to do pictures with you on the rally towel. There's going to be a picture from the ladder truck on the fire department. There's going to be a drone coming to take your picture. What? So everybody come out on the field, bring your rally towels, and we'll pose for a big community picture. That's it, come on, everybody get out here. I guess, you're not doing your picture? Okay. Okay, everybody face the fire truck ladder. Can you wave your towels? Come on, wave your towels. Let's get some music for the towels. Okay. Now look up high. Look up high. See the drone up there? Everybody wave to the drone too. tickets the concession stand has the popcorn peanuts and cracker jacks we have some food trucks over in the parking lot and there's lots of activities going on over by the inflatables thank you to our sponsors today on the scoreboard you can see Google Sheraton Sunnyvale and AYSO are our main sponsors on the scoreboards thank you all to our vendors that came out today and enjoy your facility thank you all for being here today Welcome. Today we're at the, the opening day of the Mountain View Sports Facility, I believe it is. I'm with Lauren Marymount, City of Mountain View Recreation Department. Is that correct, Lauren? Can you tell us a little about this facility, uh, what the purpose is, and uh, what your plans are for um, bringing more sports to the area? Yeah, absolutely. So the Shoreline Athletic Fields are opening today after almost 10 years of planning and, and expectation. Um, we expect to have our youth sports organizations, soccer, baseball, softball, um, use these fields on a daily basis after school from about 4 p.m. and the lights will let us play until about 10 p.m. And then we'll also have adult sports out here. Um, we're planning to do some things during the daytime to engage our technology neighbors and um, um, so it's just going to be hopefully well used and utilized by the community of Mountain View. So it looks like it's uh, mainly a team team facility, is that correct? Yes, absolutely. We have soccer as well as softball and baseball with multiple base um, 
situations so that lots of different uh, groups can play. So I have to ask you, because I love sports, uh, I don't play enough of it, do you have any training facilities here, coaching, what have you like that? We do not have that currently. Um, we allow our youth sports organizations to do their own training at this point, but we do have batting cages, so if anybody wants to come out and use those, they'll be able to, those will be open to the public as well. Great. And is this uh, part of the overall recreation program at the City of Mount View? Yes. We also oversee all of our other um, sports complexes and field reservations. And so we make those reservations and, um, and monitor the use of, of those parks after school. Is this an online reservation facility or service? Online? Yeah. Um, no, not currently. We do have the application online, and um, you can email it to us, but um, it is available at mountainview.gov um, slash recreation, and then if you search facility reservations. Then I make a phone call, make a reservation. Is that correct? Yes. Well, you can turn the paper in, and then we'll, we'll contact you. Okay. Lauren, thank you so much for your time today. I think it's a great facility. It's a beautiful day out here, and everybody seems to be pretty excited about the opportunity to play um, sports in open fields. Yeah, we're excited. We're happy that we're here, and we're happy that we can have everybody out on the field now. Thanks so much, Sal. Thanks. So, guys, tell me who you are. I'm John Marchant, Recreation Manager. And I'm Ray Rodriguez, Senior Project Manager. And uh, what did you guys have to do with these fields? Well, Ray was involved in the design and working with the architect, and once the fields are now open, the Recreation Division will be responsible for operations and bringing groups out to use the facilities. What was the uh, toughest thing about doing all of this? Uh, dealing with the landfill that built that this field is built on top of. They're, you're worried about it sinking, right? Correct. As uh, kids, would you have loved to have played on a field like this? Absolutely. Um, being able to play in all weather is fantastic. Uh, the fields hold up really well, um, and it, it creates a consistent uh, field of play, which is I appreciate as a soccer player. I find it so amazing. I can't even play in, imagine playing on something like this. Um, what is um, other than the landfill? What is your biggest concern about the fields now? Um, making sure that uh, the different teams that utilize it have access to the fields, um, being able to come up with an equal way to uh, divide time for this premier field. And how many different organizations would use this field? Right now we do have recognized youth sports organizations that do get priority use, and I believe we have 12 of those total. Um, and then we, all, of course, have other groups that would like to rent the fields, and we do have a rental program for that purpose when the youth sports organizations are not using it. I'm with Maggie Cordero of the Mountain View Marauders, I believe it is, and I see that you are national champions for... Our cheerleaders are national champions. Oh, I see. Uh huh. I see. Our football players have done well and have gone to the playoffs locally, but we haven't gotten the football team to the nationals yet. Okay. Maybe the cheerleaders should show, join the football team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it, it changes every year, yeah. so yeah. So, at what ages, all seriousness now, what ages do you have people join the team uh, for football? Uh, football starts at age seven and it goes up to 15. This is after high school. These are uh, a regional team, I take it? Uh, it's local. Um, the regionals come after our playoffs, which would be around now. And regionals will start. But, um, you know, uh, it goes up to freshmen in high school and, um, and start out as little as age seven. So they start out pretty early and they develop their skills. and. Um, they're ready for high school, but we're trying to get more of those kids to stay with football so that they are ready for high school. It's a great conditioning exercise. I mean, and are you practicing every day or just three or four days a week? Well, in the month of August, they have to condition first. Uh, and then after conditioning, then they're allowed to put on their pads and start hitting. Um, but yes, there's a lot of conditioning before they can start hitting. How much coaching do you get involved in providing? For myself? Oh, not much, unless it's my grandson. <laughs> but I've been in the league for over 35 years now, and so I've seen my kids, other kids, and grandchildren now and their friends go through the program. But uh, myself, I coach the cheerleaders, and, uh, and then uh, we've got others that coach football. Right. So I take it you're going to use the facility for your team practice or play out here, is that correct? Well, we are, we are not, um, this, is, this facility is not made to play out here, but I 
imagine and I hear from the uh, recreation department that we may be able to have some practices out here right. because they have the lights. We usually practice under the lights uh, in the fall, so we could probably use it for practice. Great. I see your website is uh, www.mvmarauders, is that correct, .com? Yes, that's correct. Uh huh. And if I go there, I can sign up or find out more information about the schedule? Yes, we'll take you. I think I'm a little <laughs> out of your age limit, but that's okay. I, 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 <laughs> Maybe some uh, children or grandchildren of yeah, yours. Yeah, I think the grandchildren might be a possibility. <laughs> All right, that'd be great. We'll take you. Maggie, thank you so much for your time. Really, okay. very pleasant hearing from you and about the team, and I wish you every success going forward. Thank you very much. Oh, and we're uh, celebrating our 50th anniversary this next season, so we're planning on that, and if any of you alumni hear about it, we're going to put some dates out pretty soon and join us. It'll be a lot of fun. Thanks again. Okay, thank you. Okay, here we go with a big group. Uh, let me know who you are. Yeah, I'm Vitas from Mountain View. I'm Monica from Mountain View, too. <laughs> I'm Mary from Mountain View, too. I'm Lucas from Mountain View. I'm Valentina from Mountain View. I'm Maria Clara from Mountain View. I'm Amy from Mountain View. So is Mountain View really cool to build fields like this? Awesome. Uh, We love to play soccer here, baseball, basketball, all of those sports. You gonna play basketball here? No. no I don't think so. Uh -huh. I play soccer and we're gonna have a soccer game today here. Awesome. I'm gonna watch I I might be watching Maria Clara play the soccer game and it's still fun because the fields are like um yeah, they're they are super big so they can hold a lot Over of games. Here. Okay, and, and what would you play here? Soccer? Soccer. soccer. Yeah. Oh, and what position do you play in soccer? I play goalkeeper. Okay. And how excited are you guys, the parents of some of these guys, right? Yes. How so, excited are you to have these fields? No, absolutely. I mean, I think Mountain View needed something like this, right? We used to play in some of the uh, local schools, elementary school, middle schools, but I believe a lot of people are going to benefit from, uh, from this here. So great job for everyone involved. Do you like having your kids behind a fence? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just <laughs> absolutely. And and what is your biggest thrill about these fields? Uh, I think it's amazing for everybody. Everybody have amazing space to play. Come here with family or whatever you want to do here. It's an amazing place. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm with Jordan of the San Jose Earthquakes professional soccer team. Is that correct? Yep. Tell us a little, bit, a little bit about what you're doing here and what you hope to accomplish. Um, today is just uh, to come out and uh, when you do a professional sport, it's always good to uh, give back to the community. So to come out and see the see the kids playing. And I remember the days when I was younger and playing soccer. You know, um, no no worries in in the world and just coming out and just enjoying a good time with friends and family. Yeah. Are you are the San Jose Earthquakes uh, involved in the community? Then I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, we um, we always try and give back to the community. Um, every week, there's different players doing different events, um, and just kind of engaging with the the community in in general, you know, um, and then to try and build soccer and relations within the earthquakes and like grassroots grassroots soccer. I have to ask you, you know, professional sports has gone through a tremendous development phase. Yep. What's it take to become a professional soccer player? Um, I would say commitment, uh, dedication, and just and focus really to um, know it's never going to be um, positive all the way. You're going to have your, your down times when injuries and like setbacks and that, but it's, um, it's then when you kind of like grow as a player. Even with me now, I've, uh, I've got a ruptured Achilles, so I'm injured at the minute, so um, I'm going through that myself, even though I'm coming to the latter part of my career, it's always, it's always a struggle to kind of, when you get injured, to try and try and be positive and to, to know that you are going to come back and, and be successful. What is the age range for professional soccer players? Um, it varies. In England it's different because we don't have like a, a college system like over here. So I turned professional when I was 17. Um, whereas I've, I've seen over here people are coming into the MLS when they're 22. So um, for, for me it's, it's probably around average of 22 up till 33, 34, 35. So... It, it, it's long, it's longevity, but you just gotta look after your body. Uh -huh. And is the ultimate goal to play in the uh, World Cup? Um, I think any successful soccer player wants to play in the World Cup, and um, 
be successful at club level. I've had the, I've had the um, joy to play in England, the top level in Greece, and obviously now in America. So um, hopefully um, it can keep going. Well, I think it's a growing sport. So I really I congratulate you on coming out here as a professional and putting up your um, your desk and your booth and talking yeah. to people. So I wish you every success going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.